This is real naughty. Today on True Nollywood Story is James Andrisol, U.S. Ambassador to Nigeria. He spoke on why the consulators decided to get themselves involved in a non-violence project in the Niger Delta using the medium of film. Our two countries have a huge partnership. Uh, we co collaborate on a wide array of issues, including security and peace and that kind of thing. And as we look at how we can best support our, Ni our partner Nigeria, on the issue of non-violence, we thought, what if we reached out to communities and use the power of film to promote non-violence, to get youth engaged in their communities. So this is a very exciting project. In three different villages in the Delta, we've taken seven young people, and basically Jetta Amata, the famous director, has very quickly turned them into three very talented film crews. So they're making films about their communities, about non-violence, about their dream for the future of the Delta. Um, it's very exciting stuff. And this is the kind of thing I mean when I talk about partnership. We're not doing this for Nigeria, we're doing it with Nigeria. A little bit of seed money from us, and this thing has just taken off. Also speaking on True Nollywood Diary is Rick Button, the Assistant Secretary of State for Conflict and Stabilization Operation Washington, D.C., who is in Nigeria for the premiere of Dawn in the Cricks, a CSU-funded Nigerian-led television series that showcases stories of non-violent problems solving in communities throughout the Niger Delta. We're already talking about its first year, which means we're optimistic that there will be a second. But the first year will be 13 part series that will start this summer on nine networks around the country. So it will be a way to engage these 21 talented young Nigerians to show their fellow countrymen and women that you can find nonviolent ways to solve problems. And we're doing that right here in Nigeria and the United States is happy to be a partner. The names of the filmmakers are definitely Part, you will see them tonight, okay. but but, but that will be part of the part of the television series. Will be the series is based on they're making Nollywood style movies. So three separate movies being made by teams of seven each. But the selection of these filmmakers will be the television series. So each week you will find the selection and then how they were trained and then how they made the movie. So it's a reality series about they're becoming modern filmmakers. He spoke on his intent to help amplify a new narrative for the Niger Delta to draw out the adage that only violence pays. It's really to change the narrative from one of violence to one of peaceful coexistence. And we believe that with all these new technologies and the dynamic society such as Nigeria has, that using the communications mediums to bring that message forward in a rich partnership with the Nigerian people is almost a guarantee for success. I want to take us to Lagos, whatever, to go and teach us how to produce. And being among the people that we go for training on how to make a movie, I'm so excited. Yeah! <laughs> Rick hopes that this reality television series will continue in the future. Adding, it's got huge acceptance from the people. It's not as well known yet, but it's becoming known. And everybody that we've met with, uh, from the president, the governors, and many local people, are terribly excited about this. This is this is a recognition of this youthful talent, and and the way that they may grow into mature filmmakers from this wonderful opportunity. You're here for a training that's going to make you a leader. So next time on Real Nollywood, it's all about infotainment on what's happening on the other side of the motion picture industry in Nigeria. Bye-bye.